Welcome back to another voiceover video. Thanks for all the comments under the last video. I was really overwhelmed by the amount of positive feedback. I don't know how often I will make these kind of videos, but probably not every week, maybe every two or three weeks, depending on the activities at Giga Berlin. I also want to say thank you to Shop for Tesla for sponsoring this video. At Shop for Tesla you can find many different EV accessories and with the code Tobias Lind you will get 5% off. The link is in the video description. Looking at the expansion of the stamping section, we can see that there is still some foundation work in the eastern part and in the middle they are installing the rails for the bridge crane. In the northwest corner the upper floor has been placed and judging from the shape of the columns it will be expanded all the way to the east. A lot of insulation material arrived on the roof and they just started to place the insulation layer. They also installed a mounting structure for air handling units and it looks like the big steel panel from the last video is also part of the structure. Now let's zoom in to the temporary wastewater site again, where they removed the tent last week, because I have heard that this will be the location where the new fire station will be built. And behind that site you can also see a new area that got paved with asphalt. Even though there is still a fence on the bridge, the cycle path along the highway is already being used. They placed fences along the path and it's open to the public from the south. There's also a short video on my channel where I cycle along this path. On the roof of General Assembly there was some work going on and it looks like they were working on the cables for the solar panels as you can see a lot of new cables already placed on the left side, while there are no cables yet on the right side of the roof. Here's a closer look at the cycle path where they placed the new fences and here it's crossing the rainwater infiltration basin where it connects to the parking lot in front of the lobby. This is where the cycle path currently ends, but they have now started the construction to connect it to the existing path near the current bus stop.
At this part of the parking lot Tesla wants to build a solar canopy, which hasn't been in the plans before. For that Tesla drove concrete piles into the ground, which were approximately 5 meters long and you can still see the top of the piles sticking out of the sand. The authorities were surprised to see those piles because there was no permission process for those. And it wasn't covered by the factory permit as well because it wasn't in the plans when they got that permit. So the authorities had to stop the work at the solar canopies until Tesla will get the permission. And I can't really defend Tesla in this case. Piles have always been a concern to some citizens and to the local water supplier because the site is located in a water protection area. Tesla must have known that they need a permission for that. And it shouldn't be hard to get a permission either as they already got the permission for much longer piles at the stamping section. The authorities also don't expect any harm to the groundwater, but Tesla cannot just start driving piles without any permission. After that, the authorities and Tesla had a talk about how to avoid those incidents in the future, because this is not the first time that Tesla has built something without a permission. And as a result, Tesla now sets up a new department to oversee building permits. In the meantime, the Citizens Initiative against Tesla filed charges against Tesla and against the authorities because they also think that the authorities failed to supervise Tesla and should have stopped that earlier. But I do not think that these charges will lead to anything. Tesla will most likely need to pay a fine for that and it has to wait for a permission for the pilots now, which both could have been avoided if they just applied for a permission earlier. The section of the parking lot near the temporary entrance road is now completely paved with asphalt, but I think there is still one layer missing at the parking spots. Further back they placed some fresh grass along the road now and behind the location where they have removed the temporary switch yard they now also removed all the soil from the temporary fire water tank. So that will probably also be removed soon. At the future entrance road they have placed some light poles now and at this location there will also be a checkpoint with gates and a guardhouse.
Unfortunately, I still cannot see any changes at the shuttle train station. In preparation to reroute the traffic, the road in the south got some yellow road markings and traffic guide beacons now and they also installed guardrails along the road last week. And while I was filming this, they actually just opened the new road and rerouted the traffic. So now they can start to remove the old road at this section for the construction of the southern part of the new road. This is a wider view from far away, so you can see also part of the existing industrial park near Tesla and due to the good weather you can also see Berlin on the horizon. The new area near the central utility building is completely paved with asphalt now and on the right side you can see that they are starting to apply another layer of asphalt. The paved surfaces are usually made from two layers of gravel and two layers of asphalt. In the north you can see the new paved area again and even more castings are stored at the casting storage now. The sand hill behind the casting storage site is removed now, so maybe they will expand the storage even further.
At the distribution area, I was looking for model wise in the new color Midnight Cherry Red, because on my last time lapse video, some people in the comments noticed that there were some cars with a slightly different color. I'm not sure if those were really Midnight Cherry Red, because they look almost black, and at another angle, I couldn't see any difference to the black Teslas at all. But some Midnight Cherry Red model wise have been spotted on the roads last week and they can be very dark depending on the angle. At the trailer yard we can see that the expansion to the north is getting paved with asphalt now. The area in the far east was the area where they stored all the topsoil from phase 1, so they have to move all this topsoil again for further construction.
Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.